Good morning, this is uh, Umberto Mucci with Italian News, a daily video broadcast uh, from Italy on lockdown. Today is May 1st, the 53rd day of Italian lockdown, and today is Labor Day in Italy. Usually this is a day of excursions in the countryside with family and friends. There is always sunshine and few Italians re remain home. Uh, being a Friday, there would be plenty of people traveling through the beautiful Italy for a three-day weekend. Of course, this year it is obviously not so. A new month has begun and we're still in lockdown. Yesterday, for the second consecutive day, all the official statistical curves and numbers went in the right direction. Those concerning positive things increased, those concerning negative things decreased. From the beginning of this nightmare, there's never been so many healed in one day and there's never been a stronger daily decrease in the actual positive cases. In the week from April 22 to April 29, 80% of both new cases and deaths are concentrated in only five regions, all in the north. Lombardy, Piedmont, Emilia-Romagna, Veneto and Liguria. The number of coronavirus deaths yesterday was 285, less than the day before and still significantly less than the average of the last month. Let's hope it's a trend. This number has been going down for three consecutive days now. So, uh, from Monday, May 4, phase 2 begins. But what happens if the numbers of contagion and deaths increase again? What happens is that the government will decide whether to close the risk areas or whether it is an entire region or just a small area according to two criteria if the total number of beds for COVID patients will be occupied for more than 40% and if R0, the contagion rate, is higher than 1. It is specified that in the first 15-20 days of uh, phase 2 after the reopening, uh, an increase in the number of cases is expected. At this stage, the other status will be assessed on the basis of the presence of outbreaks. The relaxation of the measures, uh, as from May 4, will in any case be reassessed every 14 days. Tourism operators in the mountain areas in Italy are getting organized to think about the restart after the lockdown, as it is in the spirit of mountain people, in the hope that for the summer it will be possible to go on holiday, at least in Italy. Let's hope so. There are many ideas to respect the needs of distance and to avoid a crowd. Breakfast in the room or in the common room but with fewer people at a time. Buffets protected or served by waiters. Outdoor self-service instead of lunches in the hut. Camping tents set up around the shelters. Addition of temporary chemical toilets. Disposable linen set. Safety distance on the paths. Incentive to outdoor activities alone. Rediscovery of small villages and more isolated places. In the cable cars, cars they are thinking of services with maximum speed to accelerate the journey, continuously sanitized cabin, cabins with open windows, separate flows and exits, dedicated browse to avoid queues and gatherings. Today's story, a beautiful story, starts from the Zen district of Palermo in Sicily, one of the most difficult uh, neighbors in the neighborhoods in the city, where the students are unable to follow lessons at a distance due to the absence of tablets, PCs, smartphones, uh, and technological supports. The news arrives uh, uh, 1,200 kilometers north in Bergamo, the city most affected by the coronavirus, to which Palermo, in the most difficult moment, gave a hand by welcoming and saving the lives of COVID patients in its hospitals, or even keeping 24 tourists from Bergamo stuck in quarantine in Sicily. Bergamo has never forgotten those acts of generosity on the part of the people from, from Palermo. We have a debt to Palermo, says the mayor of Bergamo. Now we want to return an availability and solidarity that we have received. The citizens of Bergamo immediately start a real race of solidarity. In just two days, they raised funds and filled a truck with tablets, PCs, smartphones, and any other useful accessory. Destination, Zen district of Palermo. Two cities united by gratitude and solidarity. There are no north or south. Only that great beauty called Italy united. This was with Italian News. Uh, my name is Umberto Mucci. Please stay safe, stay healthy, stay home. Please take care of yourselves and your families. I'll see you tomorrow. Ciao from Rome. This was May 1 with Italian News.